So when you're looking at the M2 PCB, on the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see the dual PowerPC 602 processors running at 66 megahertz each. Original spec design called for one processor, but a second one was added later in development to increase the graphical capabilities of M2. Above that, you're going to see the low-level bus controller. This is going to handle peripheral data coming into the PCB, as well as the data that's streaming off the CD-ROM drive to the right. Original spec called for a 4X drive. In arcade units, this was a common point of failure, so it has been replaced with a 48X drive. Above that, what you're going to see is eight one megabyte RAM chips. This was doubled from the original design to also increase the graphical capabilities of the M2. Below that, at the heart of the system, you're going to see the Bulldog ASIC, or Application Specific Integrated Circuit. This, in essence, is what you're thinking of when you think of M2. It handles all the polygon pushing power, MPEG-1 decoding, shaders, and other graphical abilities. This was a custom bespoke design chip. It's not an off-the-shelf component, but something that the engineers at the 3DO company made specifically for this platform. So when you look at the board all around, it is a pretty elegant design. You basically have an input-output chip. You have the two PowerPC 602 processors, RAM, your GPU, and your CD-ROM drive. It's a five-chip design, very simple, very inexpensive to make. Had this come out in 1997, what you would have had is a system that was reasonable in price to sell, that was much more powerful than everything that was on the market at the time. Unfortunately, we know that was canceled. But this is the M2 PCB for everyone to look at. So there you have it. That is the overall chip design for the 3DO M2. It's pretty interesting compared to some other companies that would have used some off-the-shelf components available to them from other chip foundries or developers. The 3DO company designed everything in-house. Um, next week, uh, stay tuned. We're going to have some gameplay videos from some of the Konami M2 software. Um, if you like everything you've been seeing, go ahead and subscribe down below. You can follow us at Chicago Game Collector at Instagram. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week.